Hello guys, today I am going to discuss about the Hyatt graph. Like previous video, definition, advantage, disadvantage, use it, and specification. This one is the Hyatt graph in my hand. You can see here, and this is the Hyatt graph of the array uh, of Varanasi UP. So, according to the Mary Webster dictionary, the word Hyatt graph is derived from the two Greek words. First, Hyatt. Hyatt means water. A theme, a heat, and graph is Hyder graph. Graph is graph is means to draw. So literal meaning of the Hyder graph is uh, draw a information based on the rainfall, based on the water means rainfall and temperature. Heat means temperature. So definition: it is a type of a special line graph which uh, it was first given by the G. Taylor in 1916 on his uh, uh, first documented. first documented in a in his book austerian austerian environment government printer melbourne this graph shows mean month this graph shows mean monthly temperature and in celsius and rainfall data along ordinate and abscissa right so the definition of this graph it is a type of a special line graph first uh, which was given by the gtl in 1916 on his uh, invention on the austi uh, the austerian environment government print in melbourne this graph shows mean monthly temperature on the sales uh, in the celsius mean monthly temperature in the celsius and the rainfall in the centimeter data along ordinate and abscissa and next is the advantage what is the advantage of this graph easier to draw easier to draw than climograph because the clim uh, because the temperature and uh, rainfall it is uh, because it requires only temperature and uh, rainfall so uh, you you could understand that how it is if if you have to give uh, the temperature rate and uh, rainfall then it is very easy to draw and next one is the the graph is start from origin point so there is no extra precautions had to be taken because in the previous we have studied about the uh, climograph in which uh, we take in minus 10 to 90 degree right in fahrenheit so that was the um, we have to take some extra precaution precautions in this hyder graph there is no extra precautions had been taken because this is start to the origin point and the next is the disadvantage each point of the graph represents a month so two data elements on a single point uh, might cause error and next yeah you can see here that how it is a so you can understand that uh, uh, how it is clumsy to draw it matlab uh, it it may uh, it may cause error use it to study uh, it's you can understand it's matlab uh, uh, to use it a simple climatic pattern like climates and temperature simple climatic pattern and changing weather of a place changing weather of a place this graph is helpful and what is the specification of this graph for both rainfall and temperature continuous data are suggested in this graph this is the specification of this graph so uh, here uh, this video is in you you can understand that the uh, once once i can divide because i have time so the hyder graph hyder graph is according to the mary webster dictionary the word hyder means water water a theme yeah heat and graph is graph is means to draw so literal meaning of the hyder graph to draw uh, so literal meaning of the hyder graph is a graph which information on water and temperature this is the hyder graph and definition according to definition there is nothing in the definition definition was given uh, it this graph is first time given this is a simple uh, this is a, uh, a special simple line graph uh, and uh, give which was given by the gtl 1916 and the first documented in his the australian environment government melbourne and this graph shows mean monthly temperature in the celsius and the uh, mean monthly temperature in the since celsius and the rainfall in the centimeter data data along ordinate and discrete and advantage is that if you see the advantage of the hyder graph it is easy to draw easy to draw because it requires only the clim uh, climatic uh, only temperature data and uh, rainfall data and uh, also the graph is start from origin point and this graph is start to the origin point here you can see this is start to the origin point zero so it is easy to draw and disadvantage uh, 
each point of graph represents month each point so here you can see the each point of graph like here is january february march april may june so each point of data shows the month so the data of elements uh, elements on a single point you can see the single point might cause error so thank you for watching this video and our next video is on the arrow graph we will discuss on the next video and uh, it is very this is the uh, exercise which i have done thank you